Welcome back to Scott's Retro Collectibles. Now, this week has been amazing for me. I guess back to my best in terms of charity shop pickups. Uh, in terms of bits for trading, toys, books, some decent bits and pieces. Some to put into the collection, some to flip, some to trade into CEX to get that voucher to add some great games to my collection. Now I'm going to go through what I found at the charity shop, how much I've paid as well. Uh, so firstly, I'm going straight in with it guys. Firstly, this is a trading. The person in the shop, I'm going to be honest with you guys. So I went to a charity shop in Crayford. Uh, I usually go there, usually look at DVDs, etc. Uh, and you would have seen it in previous videos. All their DVDs are a pound, including box sets. So I always look at the box sets, always see if there's something worthwhile going after for trading. Uh, and when I was there, I took a little sneaky look out the back and I could see all these box sets, DVDs. And I asked politely, don't know anyone in there. I asked politely, I said, Is it, am I able to come out and just look at those DVDs you got on all these shelves? They said, yes, no problem, but nothing will be priced up because obviously I'm choosing stuff from out the back. They're like, we just want to go away and look at it and we're going to give you a price. I said, happy with that uh, because their prices are really fair on the shop floor. I don't think they're going to take, they're not going to take advantage of me and how much I'm going to pay. And it's for charity as well. So I'm not fussed. Uh, they just, the way I look at it in this charity shop, the one in Crayford, they get tonnage in and they just try and get it out. Uh, so I went through and the only two I could find, that I thought actually, one I may keep, it's got some value, but one of them I might, I'm going to keep because I just like it. The other one I'm going to trade in, but when I picked these up, they looked to me like I was an absolute nut job in terms of, I, w I went for a huge box set on Notorious Killers, and then I went for a box of blood box set. Uh, so they were like, oh, you've got a quite unique style or taste of bits and pieces you watch. And it, as bad as that, I got to the till and the lady said exactly the same thing. She said, oh, are you into your murderers and killers? I was like, uh, yeah, but it's got good, you know, for me, once I watch it, I might flip it on. Or I know someone who wants it or I can trade it in for a bit more. I'm honest about what I do because they try, they give me a price. They know what I'm going to do with it potentially. Either keep it in my collection or trade it in. So if this one, I had to pay £5. Now, I believe trading for Notorious Killers is £9. Uh, so it's not a great trade up in my eyes in terms of you know buying cheap and then getting a good result back i could mostly sell this for more but i'm going to trade it into cx as part of my cx trading video uh so paid five pound i'm happy with that and once again it builds that relationship that's the first time i've been allowed to go out and look at the dvds in this actual charity shop long may it continue so i was happy to pay that now the next one i brought i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet i brought it for a pound they charged me a pound i think trading at cx you get five pound I love the front. Look at this like blood effect. Now, the film's on here. It's got Dracula. It's got In Search of the Real Dracula documentary. Near Dark, which is a brilliant movie. Vampires. Uh, and another low budget vampires. What's that say at the bottom? Is that Daughters of Dracula? So it's got loads of different movies in here, as you can see. It's got the little instructions. Look, look at this. So I was happy to pick this up. It's not the Dracula I thought it was going to be. It's like a 90s one. I thought it was like the official movie. Now, the one I like, I love this movie, Near Dark. And that was in there. So that's what kind of pulled me towards it. Now, I think I've got it on uh, Blu-ray. So I may just trade this in. Vampires Out for Blood. I'm more than likely just Daughters of, Vamp Daughters of Dracula. I'm, I might just trade this in. But I love, the, I love the front with the kind of fake blood. I say it's fake. I don't know. Uh, but they're trading. They will be trading. They will be trading. Now, I'm going to go to the toys because it is on the same day, guys. So, uh, went to that charity shop. On the way home, I always go through three or four different charity shops because it's on the way home. Now, this charity shop always keeps giving to me the Eleanor one. Uh, so, guys, you would have seen here. I paid £10.50. So, you'd be going, what the hell do you pay £10.50 for? Now, these toys you just don't see. They're girls' toys. Uh, you don't see them. And these are like, these are, I want to say these are 80s. What does it say on it? 86. And they the keeps, so they're keepers. Uh, and they've got the tags on still. These are crazy. You just don't see these Tonka toys. And they're the, they're the ones that have got the keys. Uh, best to explain this. You kind of turn the keys and then it's like you've got, I don't want to say secret compartment. Come on, how do you open it? Am I turning the key properly? I don't want to break this. Right. I 
can definitely hear it opening. All right, we'll play around with that later. But to get the keys, the tags, and you've got the actual thing there. Oh, there you go. It's open. I've opened it. Yes, I have. So you can see you've got the little lock at the top. You open it. You put bits and pieces in there. Uh, and then you lock it back up. And this will just sit on a shelf. Now, pick this one up. So in all, I pay ten fifty, like I said, guys, for these. So I've got that one. Some of these don't have the keys. You've got the horse, which says on it, no keys, £2. Uh, and I think anywhere with these figures, they go anywhere from about 30 to £50. Pounds. Even some of the small ones. So the small ones have got the brushes, which you want. This would be like, I remember people putting money in these ones. So you've got these two little ones here as well. Uh, and these will just get, these will get flipped, guys. I'm not going to hold on to these. Uh, you've got another one, which has got a key. And these are your main ones that you'd always want. So the key goes in there. Uh, and it's got the name of the actual creature on there. I want to say creature. It, sa it sounds a little bit bad when I say creatures. Uh, your keepsake. Uh, and then the other one. So the last one I've got is this one. I don't know. What's this? A hat? Is it a hat? I don't know what it is. Uh, but yeah. And then you've got this one as well, which is already open, but there's no key. No key, but like a duck one. So happy with those. You don't see them that often, guys. Like I said, you don't see them. They will just go back in the bag. I will just more than likely bundle them. I may do this one separate because it's got the tags. So I've never really seen any with the tags and the key on there before. Uh, so yeah, happy with those. Pay £10.50. That's a solid pickup. Uh, and now, next. Next. Books. So I can't turn away a Harry Potter book. I haven't seen some for a while now on my uh, adventures, but I did manage to pick up the uh, Philosopher's Stone hardback, uh, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, and the Prisoner of Azkaban, all 75p each. I always pay the 75p when they're hardback, and I think they were a low print run as well. When I say low, 18, so that is 18, print 18. I think they're like, they might be in the hundreds now. Uh, I think this one of them was under 10, I want to say. He says, let's check. Come on. That's 19. So I'm lying. Uh, right, this one. And this one's 18 as well. So I've told Paul Keys. Uh, and then I've started to pick up if I see him, The Cursed Child, because obviously there's all this buzz about this being a movie, and I believe... This is a third, third, uh, third print, second print. So this is a second print. Uh, picked out part one and part two. Uh, it's a little bit bent, guys, but I will just bundle those with the other Harry Potter books. I must have, I want to say at least 30 to 40 Harry Potter books over there. They're all going to go. They're all going in a boot sale. I'm not keeping them. I may reach out to uh, somebody who brought uh, all of them off me last time just to see if they want them before they go to the boot sale. Because I did promise if I get any, I'll put them aside for them. Uh, so I've got them there. And then gaming-wise, guys, there's quite a bit. So I might have a few games and have to come back to them. But gaming-wise, so this was... I went into one charity shop free for one pound. So I picked up a load of games. There's still some in here as well. And I know I've got doubles of these. But when you're just trying to, you know, pick them up, they, got, they must have a bit of sell-on value. I didn't even check them. But the Tetris with the uh, little Nintendo add-on. So I picked that up. Uh, Professor Layton and the Curious Village. I think I've got a few of these already. Jewel Quest. Man Yang Quest. Feels empty. It's in there. I did check all these. Gravity. This looked like a decent game, to be fair. So I picked that up. Uh, this is another one, three for one pound. Now, I haven't got this one. I may keep it. It says limited edition. Kingdoms of Heart HD 1.5. Now, it's got a book in there. Looks cool. It's got little post-its. Is it little like, I don't know if they want to say postcards. It's an art book, which is pretty cool. All different art pieces. And then you've got the game at the back. Uh, now, I might keep that and just put that into my collection. Because I do like this game. Uh, so I did pick that up. Grand Theft Auto 3. I don't think you can ever go wrong. One of the games I was absolutely hooked on when we had the PlayStation 3. I used to love trying to get those police stars up. Literally, I didn't even do the missions. I just lived my best life in this game. Uh, you know, cheats on to get all the weapons. Cheats on to do the anti-gravity jumps and everything. Police can't touch you. And just having fun on that after having a hard day at work. Uh, Crazy Taxi. Ridge Racer. 
Army Men, Sarge's Heroes 2. And then City Crisis, because I hadn't played that before. Didn't even know about this game. But it was there. So I thought I'm going to pick that up. It looks like you're in a helicopter and you're rescuing people. Interesting. Save helpless people from crime and disaster in a city of turmoil. There you go. So I picked those ones up. Let's push those over there because there are some more. Uh, picked up. So I paid three pound. Sealed game. I think trades for about well resells for about ten. Someone I know. Whenever they say if you see these kind of big potato games, uh, kind of adult themed games, can I pick them up for them? I always do. Don't charge anything, uh, and I just give them because I'm out on the hunt. If I see them, I just pick them up. Uh, and then toy wise in one charity shop. This was a strange one, guys. So. What pulled me to this is I'm going through one of those like pick a mix boxes of like cars, uh, broken little bits and pieces, I want to say. And I saw a Stormtrooper and I was like, no, nah, it can't be an original. So I picked it up because he looks really white. So I picked it up, looked on the back of the leg and it did have, yeah, 1977. So it's like, right, okay, something, don't, something just don't seem right. So I started digging through the box thinking there's going to be Star Wars toys. That was it. That was all there was. Uh, the only other toys that are in there, strangely, was... And I don't even know if this is how he's supposed to come. Uh, but everything's, like, covered in clean feel. So it looks like Darth Vader with Anakin's cape. Or, like, there's another body is there or something. I have no idea because I've not opened them. It looks like there's another cloak underneath and two lightsabers. So I don't know if they're... I don't know if they're supposed to be... Other, oh, there looks like there may be other bits and pieces missing. So there might have been another head maybe in some hands. But there's a... Something's loose in there. So there must be other bits in there. But there's Dark Vader with Anakin's cloak. And then two lightsabers. So I picked that up. Uh, picked up Yoda. As you do when you see him. And that's from Revenge of the... Is it Revenge of the Sith? Because I that's how the packaging come like that for them. Uh, and it was the same with... That's already, that, that bit's come off. That one as well. Looks cool though, doesn't it? It's like different. And then the last toy that was in there. And I thought, oh, I'll have that. Do you ever remember Kirby? So the Disney. Uh, and this is crazy. You put batteries in here, turn it on, and it just goes like an absolute madman. I don't know what year it's from. Because I couldn't find a year. It just says Made in China Disney VW. Uh, but yeah. Not Kirby. Herbie. Kirby's the bloody new Tenbo character, isn't it? Herbie. So yeah, 53. So I picked that up. Uh, and all the toys come to £3. So I thought, oh, I'll pay that. That's okay. And then more games. So it's three for £1. So I picked up Call of Duty. Because they were just there. You know, I just pick up. I just pick it up. And I thought, actually, even if I come to sell these on, put them in a collection, bundle them with a PlayStation 4. Uh, so Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, Batman. And then Far Cry 4. So I picked those up. What else have we got in here? Oh, yes. So the charity shop I was in where I picked up the toys, they had a couple of booklets that were going. They were going to throw them in a the bin. And I asked if I could just take them because I need that for my uh, London Olympics to make that complete. It's got a sticker on it, but I'm going to be trading it in anyway, so it doesn't matter. And Sonic Riders. So I was happy enough to take those. And then box set wires. So I did pick up. Again, these were 50p each in the charity shop I went to. Now, this was crazy because this is sealed. I think it trades for about £4, so I picked up the uh, phone shop quality TV series as well, but I will trade that in. And then 50p for the whole of Only Fools and Horses as well. Only Fools and Horses, uh, 1 to 7. So that will be traded in as well. I'm not keeping that. I already have it. Uh, so a couple of trade-ins with the trade-ins I've already got. And then these books. Now, these brought back some memories. The only reason I picked up, they were 10p each. Uh, and it's strange. I remember seeing these books when I was a kid, but I, very vivid very vivid in my memory uh macmillan's children books i don't know but they were two pound 95 when they come out and these are the ones where they were like pop up inside i remember these when i was a kid uh 1981 there you go 1981 but yeah if i just go to some of the pages they like pop up uh, i love a pop-up book so it's pretty cool uh, so I picked that up, and then there was another one next to it, exactly the same. Uh, so I took them both. And then there was another one that I believe was in the same kind of uh, theme as them. So I picked that up as well. And again, you can just see as you open it up. I love these kind of books. 
So yes, yeah, so I picked those up. Might as well, 10p each. I don't know what they even resell for, but I picked those up. Uh, oh, and then one of the charity shops I was in, they like, are you interested in graphic novels? They know I am because they always do me a bloody good deal, but they try and shift them because they don't want to hold on to them. Uh, and I need some water for this because who takes them? If the charity shop don't want them. Me. Uh, so they don't put these out. I think they literally wait uh, because it's a strange one. There's there's a, quite a few elderly people that run a charity shop and they don't believe, from their point of view, they should be putting these graphic novels like Preacher on the shop floor to sell because they don't they think it gives them wrong message and values and brands. Uh, I haven't necessarily heard that before, but they just tend to say, look, do you want to take all these? Please give us three pounds for the whole lot. Otherwise, we are going to put them in the bin. Now, I'll give three pounds. I believe it sh they should be more and they should be able to sell them. Uh, however, it's crazy to think they're going to go in the bin. If I don't want, even if I pick them up for three pound and sell them to someone for a bit more, at least I know they're going to a good home or someone who's going to appreciate them. You can't be throwing this stuff in the bin. Uh, and they mostly tell me that of everything, innit? It's going in the bin, so I'll buy it. But yeah, three pounds. So I paid three pounds for. There's a hell of a lot of graphic novels. I'm going to pull them all out. Uh, and they are mostly preacher. Uh, there's a little. I don't know why they threw the Star Wars book in. Absolute no idea. Uh, and then there's a Judge Dredd. But we'll go through these and I can put that over there then. Bye bye, bag. So, Star Wars. This is the first one. They threw this in. It's from 2017. It's a weird one. It looks like it's got every spaceship and scene in. And you kind of, oh, this is the best place to see it. You kind of hold it, cut it out, and you build like a pop-up 3D picture or model. Now, me just showing you those pop-up books, you can tell already that this is right up my street. And you can see what I mean. It's a huge book, uh, but you kind of build the troop carrier there. Oh, come on. I knew I wouldn't get to the next page, but let's show you. And then it kind of talks about what it is you're building, and it shows you what it should look like once you cut it out. So I picked that up as part of it. Why not? And then in terms of magazines, so you've got the Judge Dread. I love this. 90s as well. You can tell it's 90s just when you open it and you see the inside. I don't even have to look at the back to see it is from 1990. When it's originally come out, it's £5.50. Uh, you just don't see these that often. Maybe at boot sales and then Preacher... This is the stuff they didn't want to put in the shop. And they're like, it's going to go in the bin. Uh, it preacher until the end of Worlds. So there. And then when you brought this, this was 9 99 uh, What's this? The Invisibles. The Invisibles. The Invisibles. Preacher. War in the Sun. Preacher. Alamo. Preacher, proud Americans, Visibles, Visibles, a lot of those actually, so whoever it was was a fan, a hell of a lot of Preacher, kind of see the Preacher and Visible ones there, but yeah, guys, would you let these go in the bin, if some, I wouldn't, I don't even know why they put them in the bin, you'd even get, you'd even put these out and get, you know, what, 50p, uh, graphic novel if you wanted to, but yeah, so I've, I've picked it. I took them all anyway for three quid for that whole bundle, guys. I picked it up. Uh, so that that's it for my charity shop kind of pick up from last week. Now, I'm really happy with the key. Is it key keepers or? Yeah, key keepers. The uh, girl toys that were there. That you, don't, you just don't see them. I never see anything like that at charity shops. Hardly out in the wild, like Polly Pocket bits and pieces like that. You just don't see it. Uh, so yeah, happy to pick those up. And it's a decent value on those as well. Always good just to see the Star Wars figures. My little Storm, Storm, Storm Trooper. Let's say the correct name. Herbie. You've got, you got to love the movie Herbie, haven't you? Uh, it looks like it's discoloured a little bit, to be fair. But yeah, happy with that. And then box sets. There's enough box sets here for me to trade in. Mostly to get, I reckon, about £40, mate. £40 to £50, which is good. Because I always love having a CEX voucher in my pocket. Because I what did I pick up last from CEX when I was in there? Oh, it would have been, you would have seen the pad and Silent Hill. And I picked up something else because I had 20 quid. Mario Party. I didn't even show off Mario Party, did I? So guys, I had like a, I think I had like a 30 pound voucher left. I ended up picking up. It's here. Come on. It's stuck to, po it's stuck to Pokemon Sun. 
So I ended up picking up uh, Mario Party 4. 30 quid, it's the cheapest out of the lot. So yeah, happy with that from CX. And then I did pick up one toy as well. I don't know where for the love of me I do because it's right in front of me. These are these are the Nintendo games. And guys, this is the only thing. So I brought these sealed. I would have said ages ago when uh, Argos were clearing out their uh, Nintendo 3DS. They always stick the code. You'll know what I'm on about. If you know Argos, they stick like the numbered code so they can read it as they're getting it. Which always crap because they stick it over the front. I'd rather them stick it on the back. But I tried to get it off. It's still sticky. So I need to get like that sticky piece off. Uh, but yeah, them, they're some of my sealed games. Because I managed to get the stickers off them. I will leave them like that. And then the only other thing I picked up from the Entertainer. Because I do like getting a few elites. Uh, it had gone down to £17. Now, I'm being told in Smythe's they could be cheaper. And the Bret Hart's gone down uh, to £10. So I'm going to Smythe's in the next couple of weeks to get that. Uh, but I picked up the Survivor Series Hulk Hogan. That's cool. That's cool. That's my childhood right there. So I picked that up as well. No, that being all, that is all I picked up last week. Last week. I say I'm going to go easy. No doubt I'll have more next week as we go into Easter weekend because I want to get out and do a bit of charity shop hunting, mostly on the Saturday because I haven't been Saturday charity shop hunting for ages. So I'm more than likely going to do that and maybe get down to a Saturday car boot sale as well because that would be interesting. I've never done, a, never done a Saturday car boot sale. But guys, that being said, that is all I've picked up. Uh, happy with the toys, happy with the games. I'm happy with everything I've picked up. Graphic novels, I like picking them up, but Jesus, I'm looking at them thinking, there's a hell of a lot. I've got to start getting my act together and getting these bloody things listed. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your few thoughts in the comments below. Uh, we will see you again next time. Stay safe. Bye. Uh...